Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Today is uh, Wednesday, September the 21st, and yeah, I know it's been a little bit since I put a video out, so I just wanted to give you guys an update on what's been going on and where I've been. Uh, it's, I've been off for like two weeks now, and it's been a lot going on in that two weeks that I've been off. Uh, I've not been off necessarily because there's no loads. Uh, although loads are very slim for uh, single pull guys and not so much for multi-haul if you have a 53 foot step deck because they've got a lot of triples and they've got a lot of these uh, <clears throat> four packs of these Rubicons but yesterday I spoke with uh, one of the guys at the company and they didn't have anything that would go on my trailer double wise or small triples since I got the gooseneck trailer but I did uh, dispatch on a four pack going to Lake Park Georgia which I love going to Lake Park Georgia so uh, we think that by pulling the jacks and just pretty much by tucking everything that I won't have a problem getting the four pack on and if that's the case he told me he's got like 40 of those loads already so as long as I can make this four pack work so we're going to Indiana to make sure that we can get this four pack on the trailer. Fingers crossed, they're 14 foot Rubicons like if you've watched uh, Vandy RV, Vandy Transport, <clears throat> those Rubicons, he's doing the four packs, that's what it is. But I, uh, where my trailer is just 46 and a half foot deck space, I will have to pull the jacks and, and do the tucking, which is not a big deal, I don't care one bit. It pays good, it's a little work, but hey, you know, if that's what it takes to make some money, that's what it takes. Truck's in the shop, I uh, dropped it off last week. It should be done today, just uh, preventative maintenance stuff. We've got new tires going on, uh, putting new rotors on the front, we're putting new brakes on the back, uh, just getting the oil changed, we're putting in a new air filter. Just uh, I took that opportunity while I knew I was gonna be off to go ahead and have that maintenance done. Uh, they sent the wrong rotors and stuff or it would already be done. So that should be done today because I need to be in Indiana tomorrow to pick up so I'll be back Friday with the load. Uh, <clears throat> beyond that, la week weekend before last, not this past weekend, but the weekend before last, we went to Smoky Mountain Air Show down in Knoxville. Uh, it was awesome. Seen the Blue Angels. Had never seen them before. If you haven't ever seen them, man, it is amazing. I highly recommend if you have the opportunity to go to an air show and see the Blue Angels. Phenomenal, phenomenal show. We took our, uh, of course, we took our our daughters and one of their friends and then our uh, nephew. And he loved the planes that were down, but the loudness, which we, we took your must for him, but even the feeling of them things because they are astronomical. He was like, Whoa. It kind of freaked him out a little bit. Then you'd show him the videos afterwards, and he's like, whoa. But uh, <clears throat> so we done that. And then, uh, middle of the week, we left and went down to uh, Hilton Head, South Carolina, and stayed. Uh, my son's in the Marine Corps. He graduated Marine Corps boot camp on Friday, so we got to go down early. We had a family day with him, and then we got to see his graduation and brought him home on Friday. He's in for a little bit before he goes back. So, you know, phenomenal, super proud of him. It was just, you know, something to see and experience and was phenomenal you know being a veteran myself of the army you know having one of your kids do it is just you know it's a feeling like nothing else so we got home friday night saturday we had a uh, granddaughter's one year birthday party she actually turns one on the 24th but her mom and her dad and then her dad's family they're all leaving on the 23rd to go to montana for like two weeks on a trip. So we celebrated her birthday <clears throat> on Saturday. So like I said, had a lot going on. That's why I've been off and put out any content. You know, between the air show and the trip, and Marine Corps graduation, birthday, it's in truck being in the shop, because obviously it ain't back yet or I'd be back on the road. So um, like I said, hopefully getting the truck back today to uh, <clears throat> head up to Indiana either this evening, depending on what time it gets struck done, or it may just leave early in the morning. 
And if that's the case, I'll just probably won't even book anything up. I'll just go to Indiana and get loaded up and then get back home tomorrow. Because around here, East Tennessee, Saturday's a big day tomorrow. Uh, this coming Saturday's a big day. It's balls and gators. We gator hate around here. So uh, we look, you know, we'll be back Friday. It's basically, no, I don't want to go anywhere long distance while my son's in either. So, uh, so we're going to get back. We're going to watch the game Saturday. Then we'll probably we'll leave out Sunday and go down to Lake Park, Georgia. Deliver Monday morning. As long as we're able to load those up, we're going to go back to Indiana and get another load of them because there's, there's a lot of them. So we'll go back to Indiana and get another load of those going somewhere because there's a lot of them coming down south. So we're not going to do anything long distance till uh, my son leaves. But uh, plus we got to be back this weekend for the Florida game. Next weekend is uh, Country Thunder at Bristol Motor Speedway. I just live like 40 minutes from Bristol Motor Speedway. And uh, of course I've got a 12-year-old uh, and 11-year-old that are like, oh, Morgan Wallen. Of course, Morgan Wallen is just like two counties over where he's from. So taking them to go see Morgan Wallen on Saturday at Country Thunder. I mean, Tracy Lawrence going to be there. I'm more excited about that than I am about more than one, but for <laughs> the mode. But uh, yeah, so we're going to do that in the end and uh, probably try to knock out as many loads. You know, if they got a bunch of these loads, man, I'm just going to start hammering them out because we're coming into start preparing for Christmas. I mean, it's under 100 days till Christmas. Unbelievable. This year is just oh, gone by. But, uh, you know, right now, single pool guys, I'm a cousin, he uh, put his name on the list like the middle of last week for a load. He got one yesterday going to Texas, which is where he wanted to go, that area. He didn't want to go very far off. So uh, it's, it's tough right now. Uh, there have been some things that have said, you know, they just done these big shows and that's kind of going to boost the industry. But, you know, I mean, if, if the economy's down and people aren't buying RVs, I mean, dealerships aren't going to take them. And that's, you know, that's with anything. If, you know, cars aren't being sold, dealerships aren't going to take cars. Uh, when you're on Central Dispatch, moving to cars is really slacked off too. I mean, and it all rolls around the economy, and the economy's booming. You know, sales of, of not necessity things like RVs will boom, boats you know, motorcycles, but if the economy is down and people's holding on to their money, then, you know, of course that stuff's going to slack off. That's why you always want to set yourself up in other aspects. And that was, like I said, when I, when I decided I want to buy this truck, that was the big reason not to go back with a Holland tow was to buy a truck and trailer because when, when RVs slacked off, I wanted options to move other things, you know, and cars, Cars aren't paying the greatest, you know, but, you know, from Knoxville to Nashville and back in a day, you know, I can probably make five, six hundred bucks if I have to, and it's not the greatest money, but it pays the bill, you know, when things are slow. Obviously, I want to move RVs because they pay better. So, just remember that when you're, you know, especially if you're thinking about getting in it right now, now's not, it's, it's down. I mean, a lot of people are leaving the industry trying to sell off their equipment. You know, people are going out and buying sixty and seventy, eighty thousand dollar trucks, and then they're not making the money that they thought they were going to make, and they're sitting for ten and twelve days, and it's tough. You know, if you don't have any other means of income, and this is all you depend on. I mean, this is my primary job. You know, so I, you know, I have to, you know, I try to bust my tail to make as much money as I can. Like I knew I was going to take this time off. So, you know, I've done some California runs. I've done that run to Arizona and brought all that back, and you know, that's the money that I've paid my bills with for these two weeks that I've been off without missing a beat, you know. I mean, I haven't even, I haven't even dipped into any kind of savings or anything. All the money that I've been living on has been, I've just been transferring over every week off of my EFS card that I made off that Arizona run. So I planned it, you know. So you just got to be smart with your money. You got to be smart with the way you do things. And uh, the strong will survive. So, you know, the guys that are... Uh, Falling like flies are the ones that aren't prepared, that, that just jumped in because they thought it was quick, easy money. It's not. It's anything but that. I mean, I spend 
maintenance wise and all that, I put a lot of money back into my truck and stuff. Um, you know, I mean, my gross looks great, but the net is nowhere near as great as what you think it is because, I mean, you spend a lot of money. You have to spend money to make money. It's just the way it is. I mean, I wish I could make $150,000 and, you know, put $100,000 of it into the bank, but it don't, don't work that way. I mean, you've got to reinvest that money back into equipment in order to survive out here. So that's that's where we're at now. Uh, you know, hopefully it picks back up. It, it, it will go back to being normal. You know, the last two years have been anything but normal. And I think that was the big influx of people coming in is because, I mean, the RV industry was booming. And it was an easy way for people to come in and make money. And, you know, and the guys that maybe already had a truck and already had that payment and it wasn't any extra burden to them, they've done good, you know. But the guys that went out and bought all new equipment, trucks and all that, it's caught up to them now if, if they're not making that money and they're, then they're going to go back and try to work a normal job like they had, but now they have, you know, a $1,200 payment. It's different. So just be smart. Think it through. Uh, it is good money, but it's not quick and easy. But uh, like I said, we're hopefully going to be back on the road tomorrow and get back to normal. See you guys.